Y'all, this is Fuck. I'm from A L E E L G F 3A. I represent the Wild Ones. I'm about 10 years old, and uh, I wrote a name, Shock, from A A K, called Aerosol Addicts, Kings. And we had queens, and, you know, girls that were queens and shit. And that's how it started. Back in the days, that's how most girls were, like uh, kings and queens, early 90s. I moved towards uh, East LA and grew up there most of the time. and met other writers and they started doing like block letters and stuff and that's where I caught on to that around 12 years old I started doing like blocks my own my own style and stuff from there on I just like saw how you can make a letter look so dope with 3ds and then it just it just led on to me start like meeting other people and going farther places and starting to paint around 14 15 uh, I went through a lot of shit and then uh, 15. When I was 15, I got shot and stabbed. And after that happened, I kind of went back home and everything was just horrible, you know what I mean? So around that time, I started writing Fucked, and then that's just where I like, pushed on Fucked around when I was 14. So that's like 94, 95. After I got shot, I moved over to Rancho Cucamonga area and met all the 909 writers out there, and then just went on from there and then started seeing how writers kind of travel and do a lot of things. and kind of get up everywhere like I'll just take off to Mexico and end up seeing a writer over there that I know over here and I'm just like what the fuck how do you do that and it's pretty much the same way I did it I just traveled over there with my mom I didn't even do it sneak out catch a spot boom I got Mexico on lock or some shit but that's just how it was for people and then I saw that and yeah now, it's, now I'm flying everywhere there's actually a lot of girls that wrote back in the days you know what I mean like there's just that's why back in the days there's like those queens and kings and yeah, there was a lot of girls that got up back in the days, and they're all down for it, bus mobbing and shit like that, you know, because that's what it was, but they're all banging too and shit. There was a lot of girls doing a lot of action back in the days. But I see a, a lot of girls trying more with uh, piecing and stuff like that, like their piecing, not really going out bombing as much, but uh, there's a few that are, that are still doing it, that been doing it, you know, and like, they're going out there, like here and there. You got Envy, she's still doing her thing, you know, and everybody's got families and stuff. And you got uh, Pearl. You know, you got Miss 17, you got Claw, you got, and there's a lot of other ones that I don't think people really have recognized or seen up, but they get up in their cities like Brooklyn and, you know, Jersey and all there. There's a lot of different girls that I've met. Yeah, everywhere in different cities, there's a lot of other girls, that, right? With what's going on nowadays, I don't think a lot of a lot of girls want to take that risk, and I don't think a lot of few guys want to take that risk and go out there and just expose ourselves as much because of the law and what it's doing to us so it's like it's giving a fear to a lot of writers that's why you don't really see too many people getting up really are doing what the, what was going on say five years ago you know now it's like you're worried about your friend going out more than you did back in the days you're like damn she's gonna go out painting it's gonna be a problem like oh, if she gets caught you know and she gets up and then who knows you know it's just there's more worries now going out for anybody that goes out for all my homies and stuff that paint it's like all right, well, you know, we all mostly like shake hands and just make sure everybody comes back home safe, you know what I mean? Because it's every man's for themselves when you're out there, you know, you're not really like running, you're not moving your legs for your friend. Your friend has to start moving their legs for themselves and you're mostly, it's every man for themselves when you're out there and you either come home or you, you go somewhere else and lay down. I'll hit New York, then I'll hit the, I'll hit over uh, Northwest, West, East, West, you know, I'll go everywhere, it doesn't matter. All year, just hit a spot. Friends just call me, hey, dude, I'm going over here. You want to roll? Like, yeah. I only got 100 bucks. All right, fuck it. Just come. Just roll. Just buy food. I got the gas. And we're rolling. Rack paint all the way up. There's Home Depots and everything all the way up. You just got to stop and grab your paint. And then it's just, you move on from there. But that's just that's how it is for me. You know, a lot of friends go everywhere. I have friends everywhere now to the point where, like, hey, I'm going back home. You know, I'm going to Texas right now. All right, cool. Like, uh, when are you coming back? I'm going to go over there for a week, pick up some stuff, and then drive right back. You want to come? Like, yeah. And same old routine. Head down, rack some paint, paint the spots all the way down there, and then come back home, and you got yourself up some more. Just ready to paint, ready to smash. You know, especially when we show up, like, everybody's just like, let's do it. These guys are here to paint. Let's paint, you know? And it's like, it's tired. I mean, all the, all the friends I made throughout here, uh, up north in Seattle and Portland and Frisco, I mean, they're all loyal friends and stuff. And I, I love all that. There's a lot. I mean, everybody has their own styles as far as Frisco and Seattle and all them. They have like their own styles, but just, you know, everybody in different states have their own style. LA has like, 
You know, you know LA when you see it on a wall, you know, you know different states, you know, when you look at it on a wall as far as I do, you know what I mean? So the girls I went out with is pretty much we, we did the same thing any any other time it would be going out mobbing. Just run out, hide out real quick, jump out here the spot, it's not all. I don't know if I wanna jump this fence. Like, you know, it's, I don't know what do I do. I don't wanna do that. I just wanna hit this wall. No, it's not like that. It's it's whatever. If I jump a fence, you gotta jump a fence. If I'm jumping a wall, you're jumping a wall. But yeah, it's, it's been the same. No difference really. Just go out, get your spot and head on, laugh about it. Get home. It's been fun though when I hit with girls. <laughs> and I like to help out people a lot when I'm painting, you know what I mean? Like I go out with random writers, so it's like, you know, I'll go out with anybody, it doesn't matter who you are, just just trust me and I'll trust you and we'll go out and just know the biz, you know. But every time I go out with people and I know they're probably just they like me a lot and they want to paint and they just take them out painting, they're kinda like, you know, just get stuck on a wall, come in and just there you go, bro. And you're like, oh shit, and then they'll smash it and they're like, oh I like it. But it's like I try to give a good influence to the streets. As far as it goes, from girl, guy, it doesn't matter. Just, just give that love back to the street because I think we deserve it. Well, yeah, my uh, my brother over, he passed away. Six years was uh, a couple days ago. It was six years that he passed away, but uh, he died over being in a crew and they didn't like it. So they rolled up to a store, they hit him up and uh, he jumped out. I think he said he was from TKO or something. And then uh, he was with the uh, tumor, and uh, they hit that fool up because he went to go use the payphone, and all their phones were like dead. So they ended up using the payphone, and uh, he uh, he got hit up by two carloads of gangsters, and then they ran up on all of them, and then over jumped out, and another homie kind of stood in the car, and then uh, he was like, "Chill out, chill out," and they just shot him once in the chest. And he fell on the floor, and, and then those fools just took off, and. I think they caught, they caught the guy now. I don't, I don't really know what happened to that fool, but uh, yeah, like that that was the worst I ever dealt with as far as a friend dying. That was my closest friend right there, closest brother, everything. Like, but once that happened, it kind of changed my life a lot. So I, I just been chilling out a little bit because of it, but I'm trying to be a wild animal for him at the same time because that's my boy. And I made a promise to him before he passed away. It wasn't like we knew he was going to pass away, but we made a promise that I'm supposed to hit a couple heavens for him and, and you know, get at least four or five spots. And it's been kind of hard for me to do that. And just every time I'm going to do it, it's just, it, just thoughts go through my head. So it's kind of pauses me from doing it because I'm always with people. So it's kind of hard to show my emotions and everything. But yeah, I'm dealing with it now and it's, it's cool. It's just what he did is just whatever happened with him, it's just, it shouldn't have happened. It's too cool of a kid, but yeah, yeah, fucked over, that's what it was. Got this website, LAGraffitiGirls.com, I think everybody should uh, give it a chance, check it out, some real shit, it's real street shit as far as I put it down.